Hello everyone and welcome to Horse as a Spirit Guide. Now a horse is a little bit different than a lot of other spirit guides because the interpretation is usually going to be very personal. Horses are such a part of our history and our fantasies and oftentimes our day-to-day -day reality that um, a lot of the meanings are really going to depend on how you personally feel about them. So if you get to the end of this video and you're still a little confused, you're not sure how to interpret how horse is showing up for you, then this is one of those cases where I would advise you to get in touch with me for a reading. Um, interpreting horses as spirit guide is a little like doing dream interpretations. Sometimes recovers requires a little more esoteric know-how. So uh, please know that you can definitely get in touch with me if you need help. In the meantime, what I'm going to be doing in this video is I'm going to give you some of the more standard interpretations uh, of what it means when you start seeing horse everywhere or suddenly feeling um, an affinity for horses or whatever, um, as well as just a few examples of uh, specific interpretations for um, a horse appearing in a particular way. So. Right off the bat, if you're suddenly noticing horses everywhere, feeling really close to horses, loving horses, everybody's sending you horse stuff, then uh, the first place you want to look is uh, to themes to do with freedom. Horses are one of our primary symbols of freedom, and so you want to look at the issue of freedom in your own life. And now our subconscious loves to use metaphors. It's just part of the lingo that's stuck in there and we resonate with. It's like when somebody dreams about bears because the situation is unbearable. So think about all your horse metaphors here. So um, with regard to freedom, do you feel saddled with responsibilities that you aren't sure that you want or can handle? Um, do you feel penned in, like you're not allowed to run free? Do you feel like somebody is riding you, uh, pushing you to do things that you don't want to do or directing you in a way that is contrary to where you really want to go? Now, on the other hand, perhaps you have freedom, but you're not sure what direction to take. So you are a riderless horse. You've got all this power, you've got this vehicle, you've got this um, energy to get where you want to go, but you don't know your destination, in which case what you need to be looking for is um, reconnecting with the self in order to attain guidance or researching ways to get where it is that you want to go. Uh, the other thing about the riderless horse is that sometimes we feel like we don't have a partner to accompany us on our journey. So maybe you really want to travel, you're very excited about all these things, but you feel very lonely. You feel like you don't have anyone to go with you. In which case, it's a good time to seek out some like-minded individuals. Um, you also want to look at the idea of a horse being put out to pasture. Uh, many times when people come to me for healing work, it's actually uh, happening after they've gone into retirement from work. They're so excited about not having to do a job anymore, but all of a sudden they don't feel like they have a purpose in life. The horse in pasture is supposed to relax and enjoy itself for the most part, but maybe it doesn't have a purpose anymore. And so if you're seeing a horse that is out to pasture, or you look at horses and feel like, gosh, it, it looks like it must feel kind of sad, then what you want to look at in your own life is whether or not you still feel like you have a purpose. Maybe you need a new horizon to chase. Maybe you really need a new adventure. Now, a couple of the other things that go with having horse show up. Um, horses just have boundless physical energy. They're very strong. They're very determined. They're very stubborn. And a lot of times, they don't quit till they drop. So if you're seeing a horse that is just going, 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 you're going to want to ask how in your own life you're doing that and whether or not this is a good thing. This may be a call for you to rest doesn't mean that you, you get off the horse and stop the journey. It means that you slow down a little bit to take care of yourself. Uh, horses also speak a great deal to passion and, and creativity. And so this may mean that you have some new creative energy rising, something that will support your passions. It can also represent romance. Uh, you don't want the horse to run away with you. So if you are in a new romance that's very passionate and exciting, horses are very sensual creatures, then that's fabulous. But uh, again, make sure you've always got your hands on the reins. Now, 
a couple of specific examples of interpretations for seeing horse in a specific way. Uh, these are kind of the most common. So if the horse you're suddenly noticing everywhere feels like a race horse to you or a competition horse, then what you're going to want to look at is whether A, you feel like you're in some kind of a competition or you're running some kind of a race, and B, how you perceive the expectations. Are you doing this because you want to do it or are you doing it because other people are pushing you to do it? Do you feel like people feel like you're a winner? or that people are betting on whether or not you're going to lose. And if so, why are you feeling this pressure and why is it so important to you? The other thing that uh, sometimes goes with seeing a racehorse or like a derby horse, I live in derby country, it's like Christmas when it gets to be derby season here, it's a big deal. Um, so we're all very aware of the derby horses. With the derby the and other races, well oftentimes the horses go on around in a circle. So do you feel like you're pushing, 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 rushing, rushing, rushing? but you're not really getting anywhere. So you may want to ask yourself whether or not um, your current uh, way of being is actually leading you to what you want, or do you keep coming back to where you started no matter how hard you push? Another common way to perceive the horse is with the knight in shining armor on its back. And if this is the case, then first off, you may be wanting a knight in shining armor. In which case, unfortunately, the best advice is to become your own knight in shining armor. It's wonderful to have somebody swoop down and rescue us, but as long as we're dependent upon another person instead of ourselves for our happiness, then we're always going to be afraid of losing them. So it's wonderful to find a partnership, a kindred spirit, but in the end, we have to rescue ourselves. And so the best way to attract a romantic partner most of the time, or someone who will kind of help us out of our current malaise, is to start treating ourselves the way we would want to be treated by the person we're trying to attract. And that is a lot more likely to bring in the type of relationship that you want than just casting out for somebody to rescue you and, and get you out of trouble. The knight in shining armor can also um, speak to needing a cause, needing a crusade. It may be that you don't feel any passion to do anything that matters. You don't feel like you have anything that is, is worthy of your time and interest, in which case it's time to look at your beliefs. What do you really believe? What is important for you? Is there a way you can get out and support that? Is there a crusade you can go on? In which case there are a billion and one volunteer activities out there that you can do. Uh, another way we often see horse is in uh, pushing or pulling something. So, for example, if it's pulling a cart, um, then you've got two possibilities here. One, the universe is telling you that the journey you're on, you have everything you need. It's already with you. You're carrying it. All of your supplies, all of your resources, all of your guidance is there with you. Or... And you're going to want to look at the specific horse you're seeing to judge what the case is here. Does this horse look happy pulling this thing or does it look upset? If it looks like this horse is burdened, then what the universe is likely trying to tell you is that you are not able to get where you want to go or you're not able to get there as quickly because you're dragging weight behind you. So you're going to want to ask yourself, whose burden are you carrying? Or are you weighed down by old pain, old memories, old wounds, old beliefs about how things have to be done? Uh, and you're going to want to think about ways to begin releasing these. And that way you'll be free to move in the direction and way that you were intended. Uh, the last example I have that I see often is the horse pulling a plow. Um, in some ways, this is a really wonderful image. Again, you want to look at how the horse in your, your vision or your picture you're seeing or just the way you're seeing them in real life is, is feeling to you. Uh, if this horse looks happy to be plowing, it's out in nature and this is really wonderful, then it's a good chance the universe is telling you you're planting some really wonderful seeds for your future. And that's a great sign. Whatever you're doing right now, it's probably really good for you, very nourishing. Uh, and it'll yield fruit in, in the future. Uh, however, if the horse looks um, like somebody else is pushing him, he doesn't look happy, or you sense that this is a, a burden, something he'd rather not be doing, he'd rather be running around free instead, then um, you're going to want to look at, well, who are your actions serving at this time? 
are you putting a ton of time and effort into working for a company that is not rewarding you or that won't yield you what you want in the future? Are you in a course of study that you're doing because, well, somebody told you that you should or you thought it was a good idea, but you don't feel like it's spiritually nourishing your soul? So you want to look at all this effort you're putting in. Who is it for? What is the yield? Are you actually going to be getting some fruit out of it, or is somebody else going to be enjoying the profit of the harvest? Now again, these are only a handful of um, examples when there are literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. So if you are still struggling at this point going, I have no clue what this horse I'm seeing means, uh, and bear in mind, different color horses mean different things. Different kinds of horses mean different things. If you're still stuck, please feel free to get in touch with me. Uh, you can find me at my website, which is www.ravenlightholistichealing.com. I maintain a blog there. You can get me that way. Uh, you can find me on Facebook at Raven Light Holistic Healing. I'm on Google+, and you can also get in touch with me via YouTube uh, just by commenting on the video. Cheers, my darlings, and have a wonderful day.